Monica? I have to go to work, Alan. Open the door, please. How could you do this? You wanted a divorce. You got it. You put the papers under my door. You couldn't even hand them to me. Why do you care how you got them? You got them. I care. I care. After all the years that we've lived together and all the things we've been through, how do you end a marriage like this? Keep going and going. Don't you dare try to blame this divorce on me. I'm not. You made your bet, Alan, and it certainly isn't the one in this room. Why did you have to rush into this so quickly? Well, why not? Alan, look, you're free. Go marry your mistress. Look, Monica, this is not the way I wanted it. No, I know that. You wanted everything. You wanted a family, a wife, and a mistress. No. Then what in the world did you want? I don't know. I want... I wanted things to be the way they used to be, I guess. What? You lying and me pretending to believe you? I don't want to remember our marriage like that, Monica. It's a little hard not to. Come on, will you? We had a lot of good times. There was so much love and laughter in our marriage. Gracious me, look on Sunday mornings, all of us used to pile into bed, you, me, and the kids, and we'd do the crossword puzzle, right? No, wrong. We used to fight about the crossword puzzle. That's because you were using the dictionary. Everyone uses the dictionary. Yeah, but that's cheating. And who would know about that better than you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's going to be a relief not to start every single day with an argument. Monica, please. Don't, Alan. Look, Monica, please, look. You've got to be able to give our marriage just one more chance. Come on. I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything you put me through. Look, I, I know that I've hurt you, but I, I swear to you, I, I'll make it up to you. Oh, how many times have I heard that? I love you, Monica. I need you. And that. It's true. Then why did you propose to Lucy Coe before the divorce was even final? Look, I... No, don't bother. Don't bother to try to explain. I know all about the board meeting. No, no, listen, you have... It's the only way that I could shut up the shareholders. Monica, if you and I were back together again, everything would be okay. Listen to you. Listen to you. With everything that's going on, the single most important thing in your life is your precious position at ELQ. It doesn't mean a damn thing without you. Now that is a lie. Alan, you were willing to hurt me. Hurt the family. Hell, you're willing to marry a tramp just so you can sit in your father's chair. Well, congratulations. You did it. You are finally your father's son. But I don't think he'd be very proud of you right now. I'm not very proud of myself. I'll do anything you ask me to. Pack your bags and get out of my house and out of my life. I can't find my uh, lightweight blue suit. It's at the cleaners. Okay, I'll come back for it. No, oh, there's no need to do that. They can deliver to wherever you're staying. I'll have Jennings get your car. Wait, wait, wait. Please. Uh, look, um, we still have to um, settle a few things. Well, like what? Um, the boys. Well, what about the boys? Well, uh, just, just for a second. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, of course I'm going to take care of them. You know, the school, the clothes, whatever they need. I know that. I hope they don't hate me for this, Monica. No, they don't hate you. They know that their father loves them. Um, I just want you to know that um, I, um, I'll look after you as well. No. I don't want any. No, I want to, please. Wait a minute. I am fine on my own. I don't need handouts. No, I, I didn't mean... I mean it, Alan. And you don't have to feel guilty about that on this score, anyway. 
Look, I came into this marriage with nothing. Although I doubt I would have come as far as I have without your help. That's not true. You would have been a success with or without me. I knew that from the instant I ever laid eyes on you. You were the most beautiful, smartest, sweetest woman I'd ever seen in my life. You mean naive. No, I don't. <laughs> do, you, do you remember the first time I brought you to this house for dinner? Oh, <laughs> I will never forget. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, I was so sure I was going to knock over a wine glass or... I used the wrong fork. Yeah, my father was the one who knocked over the wine glass. Yeah, I know, and then he grumbled about why the deuce do we have to have three forks. <laughs> I know he did it for um, my benefit. He liked you. He really liked you. You stood up to him. You gave him a grandchild. Yeah. That was a happy day, isn't it? We had lots of happy days. Except for the bad ones. We got through those. Oh, Monica, we can get through this. Helen, how could two people who are so much in love end up like this? It doesn't have to end. It doesn't. No, uh -uh. I promised I would not let you get to me. Monica. We belong together. You know it. I know it. Ellen, just leave. Please, leave. Dr. Quartermain isn't here, Miss Coe. Well, where is he? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, didn't anybody find out where he was going? I really don't think that What do that you want, was... Lucy? Uh, Monica. I asked you a question. Oh, well, I, I do need to see Alan about something. I did tell her that he's not here. I will handle Miss Coe, Jennings. Thank you. Uh, Monica, you um, really have gotten, um, color. I guess Stunning. you got it in Mexico. Yes, they have a lot of it there. Oh. Well, you know, I've, I've never had the pleasure of actually going there. You'll make it there, trust me. Um, so, how, how, um, did it, it go? It? Well, yes, you know. Oh, Alan didn't tell you? Well, we've been missing each other. Oh. You never had any trouble finding him before. Losing your touch, Lucy? Monica, I just wanted never to Never mind. Look, it. I got the divorce. Alan's out of the house, and you're welcome to him. Oh, well, I do want to tell you how much we appreciate um, how easy you have made this for us. Oh, I didn't do it for you or for Alan. You know, Monica, I never really did want to hurt you. I have always, always had the utmost respect for you. Really? Yes, uh, the way you have just handled your life, those difficult situations with such grace, and, and you manage your family. Get to the business. point, Lucy. All right. I feel that there are bound to be transitional problems. Transitional problems? Well, yes, and I, I would like to feel free to invite you over to go over things, discuss. Invite me? Where? Well... To the house, of course. Wait a minute. Uh, if you're saying what I think you're saying, you can forget it. This is my house. Monica, you're right. It, it is, for now. No, forever, Lucy. I'd burn it to the ground before I'd have you living in it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't mention uh, fire or arson or anything like that. I know that Bobby did, and you took a torch to Tony's house. That is not true. Mm -hmm. And I will not have you spreading vicious lies like that. You're just jealous, aren't you, Monica? Admit it. You were jealous because Alan dumped you for me. I cannot believe you're so dumb. 
The only reason Al and asked you to marry him is so he could keep his position at ELQ. That is not true. Absolutely. If your little affair hadn't gone public, you would still just be the same old backstreet tramp. <gasps> How dare you, Ma oh. Look, Lucy, you can live in the biggest house in the world. It wouldn't change anything. All of Port Charles know that you are a tramp, always have been and always will be. Now get out of my house. Did you hear me? My house. <laughs>